What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the, in the House of the Dragon. We are at $494, just under there, right? Uh, right now, it does look like we want to go a little bit lower. I know my last video, it was on, I think it was on this day, uh, two days ago. I was very excited on this on this bounce here with the volume that we had. And I have to say, I think I made a rookie goof um, because I got all excited that we had this bullish engulfing candle on the four hour, which is somewhat significant, but it's not the most significant thing. We bounced off this area. It kind of made sense, right? We had a lot of volume and that's what got me excited too. But the thing is, is a lot of volume on a move like this actually shouldn't get you excited because you didn't go anywhere, right? Look at what happened when you had the same readings of volume last time. You had a bigger candle for one and you had a higher high, right? Same areas of volume here, bigger candle and a higher high. You didn't do much with your volume here. So that actually, that should have been um, a telltale sign. Not only that, but where we tipped, that's not where we tipped where we tipped was actually where we like closed this hovering point here for like four candles there so we actually just back tested previous areas of support for resistance so uh made a little goof there but it happens sometimes you get overzealous i literally made the video as we were up here i got a little overzealous nonetheless we did go lower these targets were targets that i have been talking about since we've been like in this area so i hope nobody got caught off guard by that um you know i've never i have I, there was this one joker in the comments who was saying that i've been telling people to sell uh, not, not once. I don't, you guys, I don't think in over a year talking about Bitcoin cash, have I told anybody? So the only remote close to like saying sell Bitcoin cash that I've been was with BCHG a couple months ago or like a few months ago or something like that. And that's, that's a grayscale trust deriv derived in Bitcoin cash. Um, but it's not the same thing, but I don't, I don't really tell people to sell, man. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't offer financial advice, but Beyond that, we're in the bull market. We just had the having Things are not even close to being done with. Why would anybody sell here? Why would you do anything else but buy more if it goes lower? If you're wrong on assuming it goes up and it goes down, that little bit of extra cash, whether it's 100 bucks, whether it's 1,000 bucks, whether it's 100,000, I don't know what everybody's situation is, but when, when you got that little bit of extra cash sitting on the side and you see it dump, you're expecting it to go up and oh no, it dumps. Oh yes, it dumps. You get to put more money in. You know that's that's how it is. It just sets you up for the future. So um, I do think that we're going to go lower. I got all sidetracked with explaining my point from my last video. Uh, the four-hour RSI would suggest that we go lower. I would love it if I'm wrong. I really would. But just the way that it looks to me, it would look like we would go to the oversold zone, if not into it. If we were to go lower in the RSI, I wouldn't be surprised if we went lower in the price. Though we don't have to. We could form some kind of higher low or like a double bottom, you know? Um, but if we were to go lower, this low to high here would put us at about 165 to one, or sorry, 465 to 455, somewhere in that area. And if we go back on the daily, you know, it's an area that we found support on over here, previous area of resistance over here. So somewhat of, of a significant area, it would make sense to hold support over there. If we take this relative move here from the low to the high, that is your 618, 69 zone, a little bit outside the 69 zone actually, but um, right in the middle of the zone is your golden retracement. So just more reason for that at 460 there. So these are targets again that we've we've had identified for, for days now. So if that happens, and I kind of expect that we will go lower than this, if that happens, don't be scared, you know, be prepared, be prepared to buy more. And if it doesn't happen, if I'm wrong, if we hold this line at 485, that'd be really nice. We can wick below it, but as long as we're closing above it, I would consider that holding the line. Um, we're, that would mean that we're going to move up soon, right? Either way, we probably move up soon, but we're just going to go down in the more immediate terms. I want to look at the one hour, maybe look at the BCH BTC chart and then call it. The one hour actually looks kind of good. The one hour, oh, you did reject the overbought zone though. Or the 60 area. Oh, I guess, I, yeah, it's... I like the structure. I think it does look good, honestly. Perhaps we go up a little bit more from here. Perhaps we go to 500 or a little bit higher than 500 and then down. I, I don't know. The four hour to me does look bearish, but maybe we see just a little bit higher. We go to like 500 to 505, something like that, and then down. But I, I am in favor of seeing a lower low than that low as of right now. Let's see. The 15, the one hour is the only bullish one. Everything else is actually bearish. So 
I don't know, man. If we don't see that slightly higher high, if we don't go up ten bucks, don't don't kill me, man. It's okay. It's I can be wrong by ten dollars, man. It's uh it's it's hard to call every little move, you know. It's hard enough to call even the big moves, so um, and that's not the point anyways. The point is to just try to get in at a good point and get out at a good point. And with what the chart is saying, I, I would expect that we have a good point to get in coming, uh, coming soon. But relatively speaking, <clears throat> whether we go up or down from here, this probably is a decent area to get in. Always a good time to DCA below $500. At the relative high to where we are now, we're down about 31%. So you're at a 31% discount from what we've seen at the height of this cycle so far. I think that's a it's a fair time to DCA. Um, I want to look at the BCH BTC chart real quick, and then we'll end this bad boy. BCH BTC. If it loads, it, it was there, but then I moved my mouse over it, and it went away. It got all scared. I don't know why. It didn't want to load. <clears throat> Let's see here. Holding support at the 50. That's nice with last week. We are a little bit red this week, but we're only down like less than 2%. We have two days left. Let's see if we can bring that up a little bit. Maybe if Bitcoin drops over the next two days, Bitcoin Cash doesn't drop as much, or if it drops lower, it'll rebound harder, if, if that makes sense. Um, if we don't get this bounce off the 50 on the weekly RSI, that's okay, but that might suggest that we go lower, and perhaps we do see that 61869 zone for the BCH BTC pair that, that we've been expecting for some weeks now, but I've kind of relinquished that with this move here. If we can hold this line, if we can hold the 50, if we can continue to close green weeks, that'd be exciting. We could close this week red and still be fine, but it would just be more and more encouraging to see this weekly RSI breaking above the 50 and, and continuing to go. So um, nothing really too exciting going on <clears throat> in the BCH BTC chart. We've been moving sideways now for, for almost a month. So it is where it is. And really what we're waiting for is just the day when we're finally at a higher high. That That will be a good day. You guys will celebrate. I'll bust out the champagne. Uh, take it out on the balcony. We'll get wet, man. It's going to be good. Anyways, that's all I got to say. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, we're just chilling right now, guys. We're chilling. We're being patient. It will probably be over the coming weeks that we would move up more. When we do move up more, I would expect to see, you know, perhaps over the next two weeks, Oh wait, that's that's BCH BTC. I'm sorry. I want to I want to do BCH USD. I thought I did that, but I must have. I don't know. Um, relative. That's not the high. Relative high to low. Yeah, we could expect to see five seventy four to six hundred dollars potentially. Prices around six hundred or above six hundred over the next week to two weeks. That's that's my thoughts for Bitcoin Cash. So. Take care. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.